Super Rugby Power Rankings, folks, after round number five, we still have one team who's won all their games and another team who are yet to pick up a win. So you can probably guess who's top, who's bottom, but we'll go through the middle of the pack as well and you guys can let us know your thoughts on who's looking the business thus far and who is maybe struggling, who's maybe uh, better than they appear on paper. Well, not better than they appear on paper. Maybe they are, but Moana Pacifica... Uh, lost 59-0 at home to the Hurricanes. I will admit I didn't watch it. Uh, one of my mates asked me if you want to go out, and I figured that game was probably going to be lopsided, and I haven't gone back to watch it. So it's unlike me. Normally for Super Rugby Beyond, um, I'll tell the person that I'm busy, but man, I kind of feel justified by not watching it. 59-0. I mean, that's great if you're a Canes fan, but even if you're a Canes fan, you must have been getting, I don't know. How was it when you scored that last try to make it 59-0? Exhilarating or a bit of a drag? I don't know. But uh, that's not a good look for the competition. None from 5 Arm one Pacifica. Kind of no changes there. Uh, the Waratahs, I do think, are one of the sides that are maybe better than they look with their results of 1-4. and four. Um, They lost to the Chiefs 14 points to 24 at home. I still think, barring the Fijian Drua... The crowd uh, for the Waratahs is probably the best one. They seem kind of pretty vocal, and um, they seem to attend in decent numbers. I mean, they played okay, despite their loss. The Chiefs have looked kind of all-conquering thus far. To lose by 10 points to the Chiefs is certainly no disgrace. So um, it's not 59-0. Uh, so maybe, like, execution, if they can get that a bit better. I still think there's hope for the Tars thus far. Uh, the Force, I have got uh, down two spots. The Tars were down one. The Force came to Eden Park and lost here. I went to that game. It was an afternoon game. Um, it wasn't like the flashiest game. The, the Blues put out kind of a B-side. And um, the Force were like decent. They scored a kind of nice try at the end to take the bonus point away from the Blues. So it was by no means a rout at 30 points and 17. Didn't really look like the Force were going to win it. So it's another one of those ones where... Um, they will probably get better as the course of the season goes on, but um, we are already five rounds in, so um, time does start to run out. But for the Force, at least for, for them compared to the Tars, they are certainly a game ahead by having a record of two and three. Uh, but heaps of teams are on that two and three record, including the Fijian Drua. Now, their win against the Crusaders is starting to seem like a wee while ago, and they got hammered by the Highlanders, 57-24. They just didn't quite seem to be... Like it's just like a bad day. Like nothing was really going right for them. And they still, still scored 24 points. But when you can see 57, yeah, that's still not a great look. Eh? So, uh, yeah, it might be one of those ones where Fiji becomes a fortress for their home games. But they didn't look like getting anywhere near the Highlanders in that game. And if you remember back a few weeks ago, the Highlanders were copping some big score lines not that long ago. And the Highlanders were like really injury depleted as well. So... Yeah, I feel like the, the drill would have felt like doing better for that one. So also down two spots. That's your bottom row. Uh, the Reds. The Reds, I've also got down two spots. They lost to the Rebels 40 points to 34. That was a real momentum shifting game. Probably my favorite game of the weekend. I watched that one and loved pretty much the entire thing. Um, Reds went out to a big lead. Rebels scored a bunch of tries. The second half comes. The Reds put on some points and the Rebels come back into it. The lead changed, I think, at least five times. So it was genuinely a very fun, fun watch. I, I enjoyed pretty much the whole thing, man. There was not like, you know, uh, if I'm feeling not too bad that I missed the 59-0 drubbing, I would have felt gutted if I'd missed this game. So, yeah, man, 40 points to 34. Um, lacking a bit of consistency are the Reds, aren't they? So we will see. Uh, how the rest of this season pans out. But um, yeah, they'll be burned at the Tate McDermott try. Didn't stand, but I don't know why his teammate was grabbing his opponent's jersey. But anyway, uh, the team they lost to, the Rebels. I think the Rebels are maybe my favorite Aussie team to watch thus far. They are genuinely very entertaining to watch. And their forwards are really fronting up this season, which is quite pleasing. Carter Gordon's running the show. Like, he's probably the form 10 in Aussie Rugby, as a few of you guys have pointed out as well. So, um, yeah, 40 points to 34. They look sharp. They look really sharp. So, pleasing to see, man. Like, could the Rebels take it up another gear? Or is this as good as they get? Like, a, a, a narrow win over the Reds? I hope they've got a bit more in the tank. Because, um, thus far, they've been uh, they've been pretty solid. 
Um, so they are up four spots, which is a whopper from, from last week. And then these guys as well, the Highlanders, who would have thunk it? They've got two wins on the bounce. Up three spots, won 57-24 in their game. Um, the losses they've had are against some pretty big opponents. And as I said, injury depleted. Not that I'm taking injuries into account, but yeah. Maybe the Highlanders just looked comparatively bad against some of the real top teams. But otherwise, maybe the Highlanders aren't that bad. We'll kind of have to wait and see. It was looking very much all doom and gloom early, but 57-24, they also scored some pretty nice tries. And here's my Blues. My Blues are in the same spot as last week. Didn't give them enough with that win over the uh, the Force to really boost them up into that top row. As I mentioned, they, um, they didn't play a few big gun players. They got a few guys out, and they looked all right. They looked all right without being... Kind of spectacular. I was at the game and the, the atmosphere was a bit flat, if I'm honest. But it probably didn't help that they played at the same time as the Warriors. So a lot of people who might have gone to one ended up going to the other. So it was a little bit of a split. But um, there you go. That's your second row. Top row, uh, the Brumbies, our top-ranked Aussie team, they uh, dropped a result. They also rested a few guys, seemingly. It wasn't a great round for Super Rugby in terms of the amount of guys that were rested, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the Brumbies, they dropped their first game, so they uh, are now 4-1. and one. They were undefeated up until this game, but they go into Christchurch. They lose to the Crusaders, 35-17. I mean, as I said, missing a few players. They never really looked like getting close. That game was never on edge of your seat one. It's by no means an embarrassing scoreline, but it's a comfortable enough win for the Crusaders. And speaking of the Crusaders, here they are uh, in third. So the Brumbies are down two. The Crusaders are up one. Uh, with that win, like I mentioned, never really in doubt. Um, if there was any kind of hints that the Crusaders might have some, I don't know, behind-the-scenes dramas with the whole Razor thing, a bit of disruptions. No, nah, the Crusaders are just going about their business. So, uh, yeah, three and two. And it's potential that they keep rising, but they'll have to get past these guys, the Hurricanes, who, like I mentioned, I didn't see. But they scored some points, 59 of them, uh, in their emphatic win away at Moana Pacifica. Sometimes when teams are that far ahead, they kind of ease up, but apparently not the Hurricanes. If they have eased up, and you guys tell me you watched the game, and yeah, the Hurricanes took their foot off the gas, that'll be kind of disconcerting from Moana Pacifica point of view. But anyway, uh, Hurricanes, they're looking pretty good at 4-1. and one, But still, the Chiefs, the Chiefs, 5 from 5. 24-14 winners over the Waratahs. The run goes on. And the Chiefs didn't even really play, I don't think, their best game. I still think the Chiefs can certainly take it up another notch from that. But man, um, that's a bit scary for the rest of us because the Chiefs are certainly looking the business. But there you go, guys. Uh, the power ranking is a couple of the teams are um, in different positions from what they are on the table. Crusaders, I think, are not third on the table, but I've got them third in the power rankings. What do you guys reckon? How would they go if they were to take on the Canes or the Chiefs, uh, you know, next week? But anyway... You guys, let us know your thoughts and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.